Hi guys, welcome back to my channel for another letter of the week. This week, Hunter decided to choose letter B. So with our first activity that we did, Hunter immediately wanted to build things because building starts with B. So we pulled out these wooden tools. They have like cubes and other squares and circles with holes in them and some screws. And you just screw them together and make things. We had a lot of fun doing this. Paxton always loves to join us in our activities. So I think this is a great way to use their imagination and build whatever they want. And Paxton made a stacking game out of it, which helps him with his hand-eye coordination as well. What did you build? Helicopter? No, a plane. A plane? Uh huh. Ooh, cool. And now here is another activity that we are doing. It has to do with balloons. And on the balloons, I just wrote down a couple letters for them to practice. I did the uppercase letter and the lowercase letter. And I'm just writing a letter down on the board that I'm holding there. And they have to run around and find the letter. And of course, Paxton doesn't know his letters yet, but it's good for him to look at it and see um, like how the letter is written down. This was actually a really fun activity that we did. All kids love balloons, so I said, why not? Balloon starts with B. And so I just made an activity using balloons and learning letters. And then Hunter got bored of me writing on the board, so he decided he wanted to write a letter on the board so I could find it for him. And now here with another balloon activity. Um, it's actually a craft. As you can see, we are painting with balloons and they absolutely love this. And with the really quick clip in the beginning, um, you saw a piece of paper and I wrote a big letter B on it and a little letter B on it, as well as I drew a balloon um, just to keep the theme going with balloons. So they each got to pick out their own color that they wanted, but they ended up sharing anyway. So each of them got a balloon to use and they're just dipping the balloon in the paint and dabbing it onto their paper or rubbing it as you see Hunter doing. Here with this activity, as you can see, there's two tins. You could use bins or buckets or whatever you want to use. But I used um, baking tins and I filled the bag up with some items, just a bunch of random items that I had. Um, some of them are starting with letter B, others don't start with letter B. And that is the objective of this activity is to separate the items and which ones start with B and which ones don't start with B. 
We actually had a lot of fun with this activity. Hunter really liked it. Um, it helped him practice his um, sounding out the first letter of each object. So that is our outcome. Those are our letter B items, and those are all the other items. And since one of the items was bubbles, we couldn't resist to do the bubbles because they love bubbles, and bubbles start with B. Both Paxton and Hunter love to blow bubbles and chase bubbles and just the joy on Paxton's face is just too cute when he sees bubbles. So just like in the last week's video with letter H, I showed some books that I read and these books just start with B or have the letter B in the title and we read some books again. I like to read them books every day for both nap time and bedtime. Um, I just think it's good to read to your kids. But I also thought it was good to focus on the letter in each book that we read and we pointed out letter B's and looked at the title that it started with letter B or had the letter B in it. Here's one of the last activities that we did. I just wrote down again a big letter B and a little letter B on a piece of paper and we're using buttons to just outline the letter. Um, we used a little bit of math in this activity as well. We counted how many buttons were on the letter that outlined it and then I also did with him how many points each letter had and then how many I called them loops um, how many loops that they had just like the letter H we traced his hand and he wrote inside a big letter B and a little letter B and we hung it up on our wall and I just remembered he had this workbook so to review our letters I'm going to have him just trace the letter that we are focusing on that week and then write out a couple of his own and just review what words start with that letter so he's also just doing letter H from last week as well. <laughs> but that is all that I have for you for this week's letter of the week with letter B. I hope you guys enjoyed watching our video and got some ideas for some activities with your little one. Give this video a like, go subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.